and do the darndest things, especially to their invisible friends. But now a new study shows kids who have imaginary friends actually benefit later in life. Researchers in Britain found children with imaginary friends are likely to be better problem solvers and better equipped for real life social interactions, both as children and adults. They end up having what's called covert private speech while they play. So this internalized speech helps them develop the ability to think through cognitive tasks. What do you guys mm -hmm. think about this? I had an imaginary friend too as a kid. I think it's great. That's why I you're mean, so yeah. smart, Michelle. That's what it is. Yes! Exactly. He's saying it right here, actually. No, <laughs> poking me in the ribs. I don't appreciate if, it. Yeah, if she's still with you, we have a yeah, problem. Yeah. A problem. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, is there an age when it should go away, though? There is an age. At, by the age of six, we're pretty fully developed with our personalities. Okay. After that, by um, eight, nine, ten, you should not have an imaginary friend. But I think it's fantastic when kids are young and they're able to, you know, kind of um, in embrace those cognitive developmental yeah. skills. I think a lot of it's creativity too. We always, yeah. as adults, we hear the things like that's not realistic. Kids don't know that's not realistic because they engage in things like this. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I think it's great they do this young and I hope it carries them into the Well, the and future. anytime a child can play by themselves, that's a good sign yeah. too. If they're constantly needing to play with you or, or glam onto you, that's not a good thing. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Well,